you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not, not the problem for me. As an example, Muslim, they say to us that ISIS is not Islam. ISIS is not just an Islamic, it is anti-Islamic. How? And then the guy who wrote the article, the liberals, they post his article from Kir, which is the founder of Kir himself. He is one, a member of Hamas, and he was kicked out of USA. Look who is talking. Why ISIS are not Islamic? If you read the article, you will you will die laughing. The prophet was a person of justice. The prophet never taught violence. The prophet, the prophet, the prophet. <laughs> well, you're a prophet. I cannot find him in your article. What the Muslims do not say to you that there is verses in the Quran Muhammad he said when he was weak it's called abrogation which means those verses are not valid so why somebody trying to explain to me Islam he used verses which is not valid no more it's like you know someone he is a kid and he is complaining from someone he is a lot bigger than him so what the kid will say he cannot say I'm going to destroy you he cannot say he will say okay I will uh, pray to Allah to uh, to uh, you know to give me my right hmm. nice words no you know but this is not the same Muhammad after he have an army so the Muslims always they try to present for you things in the Quran which is not valid the propaganda is very simple and then the Muslims they move to different kind of a propaganda science and the Quran Quran is a book of science you know these days people like especially young ones uh, they are too much into science so now we Muslims we adopt science in order to make you believe in our Quran and then they start making articles one after one and life on air I challenge any Muslim to call me in Skype. Let me open my Skype first. And show me one of those miracles to be truthful. Just one. What kind of religion practice lying in order to make me believe in it? You tell me. What the purpose? If you are a person who believe in God and God he prevented you from lying so why you lie in fact in Islam you can lie Islam is one of the unique religions in the world which encourage Muslims to lie not only approve it so because you do not know that Islam encourage people to lie especially in the case in the cause of Allah anything in the cause of Allah is allowed and because you do not know that let us say you are naive in such about such a thing and this is very normal to be naive about such a thing I mean all of us we are naive in something or many things if you ask me about the Hindus I do not know much if you ask me about the Buddhas I do not know much so I can say I'm naive in that field and I don't blame you to be naive about Islam because this is something strange for you you never been there you don't know you don't speak the language and you hear what you hear and you open the news you open TV stations they say to you that uh, uh, you know uh, you know Obama Obama was telling us how beautiful Islam is um, you know even Trump uh, a few days ago he was saying happy Ramadan when the month of Ramadan is the month where Muslims attack the church is always I'm talking about terrorist you know like how many Christians been killed in Burkina Faso last Sunday in Nigeria today 
in Nigeria the day after, before, in Iraq, in Syria, in Pakistan. This is month of Ramadan. So happy Ramadan, but nobody is telling us the truth that Islam encouraged terrorism in Ramadan. And I'm not saying that all Muslims, they practice terrorism, but you do not need all the Muslims to practice terrorism to have a terrorist uh, uh, belief. Not all the Christians, they follow Jesus too. The one who follow Muhammad, he practiced what Muhammad practiced. What Muhammad said, let us say if this is Islamic or not. This is Muhammad, and you tell me if Muhammad was Islamic or not. Maybe Muhammad himself was not a good Muslim then. It is Muhammad who came with the idea, the founder of fighting those who don't believe in Islam until they die or they convert. So why, why they say ISIS are not Islamic? ISIS, they want everybody to follow Islam and to obey Islam. And Muhammad is saying that, and this is, this is a statement, every Muslim in the world believe in it. Every Muslim in the world believe in it. He will fight you. He will shed your blood. He will take your money. He will take your property. Unless you do the following. What is the following? Say Shahada. Practice Islam. Pay the zakat. Pay him the money. And eat as he eat. Slaughter as he slaughter. And pray as he pray. And then and only then, your blood is not lawful for him unless you break the Islamic law which means you broke any of those so why they say to us that ISIS is not Islamic are we lying this is your prophet talking this is not my prophet is that my book is that my fabrication this is Sahih al-Bukhari the most authentic book after the Quran The only way to have yourself not to be slaughtered and not to be killed or humiliated is to do the following. And Muhammad's word is very clear. I have been ordered to fight the people, which means all mankind. Till they say, none has the right to be worshipped. And so what the condition is not about until they stop fighting me as the Muslim. They say, well, Islam is teaching us to defend ourselves. This, this, this is not defend. Muhammad, he sent the three letters to three kings saying convert or else. And that can be found here. Until what? Until they say, none have the right to worship. So if you are a Hindu, Muhammad have the duty to fight you. If you are a Buddha, if you are an atheist, if you are a gay, if you are a lesbian, if you are a non-believer, if you are agnostic, if you are a Christian, if you are a Jew, it doesn't matter who you are. As long as you are not a Muslim, Muhammad, he have the right to kill you. So they lie to us. They say, well, Muhammad, he is defending himself. The kuffar is attacking him. Do you see here in the condition anywhere it says until they stop fighting us? No, the condition is very simple. Until they say, so you need to say that, okay, after we say the Shahada, which is the, the declaration of uh, Islam, then if you say so, and then pray like our prayer. So no, you are not done yet. Uh, no, 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 it's the Shahada is not enough. You have to pray like our prayer. And you have to face the direction of the Kaaba. If you pray to different direction, we will kill you. And slaughter as we slaughter, which means you eat as we eat. Then, and here notice with me, then, then their blood and the property will be sacred. Clear proof that Muhammad was nothing but a thief. He used the excuse of not believing in Allah as an excuse to take care of property. Take your wife, take your children as a slaves. No screen? I apologize for that. It's my fault. All right. I hope you see it now. So all the reference in the front of you saying clearly that Muhammad, he seek property and money and the excuse you don't believe in me i mean that is good that's a, that's a great excuse to all the the the, uh, the criminals in the world i can now attack your house and say okay you don't believe in my god 
and I'm not going to stop killing you stealing your money taking your property unless you say this this is this 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 so now I made my attack against you a holy attack which means I'm not a thief I'm doing the, uh, the the order of God you see he is not saying I am the thief he is saying I've been ordered Muhammad himself is just a person who is obeying an order I have been ordered ordered by who by Allah it's not him he want your property no it's not him he want your money and your wife and your children as a slaves no he been ordered don't take it wrong he is not a thief he is not a criminal he is doing a holy war so what is different from Isis when Isis they are saying we will do the same and they practice the same Isis is a fascist group fascist supremacist they believe that Islam is superior and everyone is down well Islam teach that too Islam teach that if we go in the hadith here we will find that the Quran and the hadith confirm the following All right. Read with me carefully, please. And tell me how far ISIS from Muhammad. Muhammad, he said to the Muslims, supposedly Allah speaking, that you are the best of the people ever raised for up for the between two bracket. Notice with me here, the Muslim they say, this is a translator for the benefit, for the benefit. You see the word the benefit between two brackets which means it's not in the hadith but the muslim they want to tell you this is the purpose of this uh, verse for the benefit of mankind okay what is the benefit of mankind you you might think okay a muslim he might quote this verse for you say see allah he created us we he, he wanted us to be muslim to be for the benefit of mankind so we are useful we are good but they will not tell you the rest what it's mean the benefit of the mankind the best of the mankind are those who bring them bring who mankind with the chains around their necks till they embrace Islam. This is what ISIS was doing. And they are telling you ISIS are not Islamic. ISIS is not Islamic. Muhammad, obviously, he is not Islamic too. This is Quran. And this is what written in Al-Bukhari. And this is what Muhammad said, by the way. Because nobody, nobody have the right to give such a meaning unless it is Islamic, sponsored by Muhammad himself. We saw ISIS, they are bringing people and the chains around their necks, literally. We saw them taking women, slaves and raping them, literally. Muhammad, he did exactly the same. Muhammad, he attacked Bani al-Mustaliq when they are headless, which means they have no idea about the attack. While their cattle were being watered, people are living in peace. Imagine a peaceful village. The men, they are watering their cattle in the place of water. Their fighting men were killed, which means the one who tried to defend. And their women and their children were taken as captive. And Muhammad, he took one of those beautiful women. Her name is Juria. ISIS did the same. So why ISIS are not Islamic? So we can approve, you know, what about chapter 929? This chapter is specifically is about attacking the Christians until they pay the jizya. So it is very Islamic to force the Christian to pay jizya. Is that Quran or this is a fabrication? The Quran in chapter 9 verse 29 says, Fight the Christians and the Jews until, until what? 
until they pay the jizya and they are humiliated and being subdued maybe the Quran is not Islamic too look like it is the Quran Islamic or maybe this is the Jewish Mardash book or maybe maybe this is the Talmud fight those who believe not in Allah and the last days and nor what is forbidden by by Allah which means not Muslims from who specifically from the Christians and the Jews Quran called Christians and Jews people of the book until what until they pay the jizya with willing and submission and feel themselves subdued which means you be humiliated disgraced and you pay it like a dog again here we see how the money is involved Muhammad he have no problem for a Christian to worship Jesus if they pay him money if you don't pay him money he will kill you pay him money he will let you live and this is where the mafia of Italy started when the when the Muslims occupy part of Italy that part learn the business of forcing people to pay in order to get protection the Muslim they will say to you the Christian were protected during Islamic occupation for their lands they were protected from who from us the Muslims they pay us money so we will not kill them this is what the Quran is saying <laughs> do you see it do you see it people now I'm going to stop here and I'm going to go back live on air in five minutes because I want this topic here to be downloaded fast and uploaded in different accounts immediately and the topic will be after that more lies they try to prov provide to us to convert us to Islam and the topic next will be science in the Quran so I will stop my broadcast but I'm not leaving I will be back in a few minutes like maybe maximum five minutes all right so come back please in five minutes refresh the page the Arabian prophet and you will see my live broadcast and you join us and I know we will lose a lot of people from 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 the page now they will come but it's okay I don't care I don't care if they if, if we have only 10 or 100 or 1000 this is not my my my, uh, my quality of work you know the Messiah himself he have a 12 followers I am not I'm, I am no better you know I'm no one so in five minutes we'll be back and we will get more lies busted thank you very much please uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and learn how to be tough on this cult and tough mean to be bold to say it as it is not as they want not perfectly correct being perfectly perfectly correct is an illness is a weakness is somebody He's hiding something. He's been forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims. It doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody he says to you, uh, that you are being rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it truth for sure.